Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. We're out in the Sprout House today. We thought we would give you guys a quick update on how things are going for our preparation for this year's farmer's market. The last you guys knew, uh, we had planted seeds for like one round of spring seeds for at the farmer's market. And by spring seeds, I'm talking about lettuce, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli. They're doing great. We want to give you an update. And we've also done a second planting just like that. And those guys are just about to come off of the heat mats. So we're going to grab some of the plants off the shelves, show you guys what they're looking like. And then we need to check on those newest ones to see if we can move them to the other shelf. So most of the plants that we have over here, they were a part of the first planting go round. They've, ten they've come off of the heat mats and they've come over to this shelf, which is where we just have lights and we have fans oscillating on them. You can see here, this is one of the trays that we did of uh, the mixed lettuce and they're doing really well. And down here are uh, just some of the different brassicas that we are starting. So broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, they're doing really well too. Overall, we had really good germination and uh, they're all doing really well. We have these fans hooked up. We have two separate fans hooked up to um, blow on them and oscillate back and forth because these plants need to... Uh, have some kind of wind on them to make their stems really strong so they don't just like flop over. Um, and that they're doing a really great job making these plants nice and um, nice and strong. The, the drawback to having fans on them all the time though is that it dries out the soil faster than if they're if the fans aren't running. So we just need to make sure that every day when we come out here that we're watering well. And uh, that's one of the things that we're gonna do here. We're gonna pull off some of these that need to be watered and water some of them. But before we go ahead and do that, I wanna show you some of the seeds that we have planted in our second go round and how they're doing on the heat mats. Now over here on the heat mats, we have um, a second go round of a lot of what we already planted, plus some early plantings of some things that are gonna go into our greenhouse at the farm and some flowers for Kevin's mom. Now you'll notice that our lights are not on and that's because uh, for the video, we turned them off so that it doesn't mess with the camera. We have the, um, the blue red lamps in these lights, which kind of cast a purple glow on everything. Not only does the camera not do well with it, but it's actually pretty straining on our eyes. When we're out here working, we normally have one of these black curtains up like this to protect our eyes. Uh, but then when we go for the day, we open it back up. So uh, we've got some things up here. These are some things that we're gonna be growing early in the greenhouse, some peppers and cucumbers and some cherry tomatoes. Also the second go round of some cauliflower, mostly other brassicas, and then some flowers for Kevin's mom. These guys all need to be watered. Uh, so I'm gonna start pulling these off and take them to the bench so that we can water them. And I can also show you some of the progress that these guys are making. Now, all of these that are on heat mats, we have a dome on top of them to keep them warm and to keep them uh, moist. You can see quite a bit of these have germinated. Because more than half of these are uh, have germinated, I'm gonna take them off of the heat mats so that they don't dry out really fast. If I were to keep the dome on there, uh, they would start interfering with these little guys that are growing. Uh, so now is just the time to take them off the heat mat. And these guys not being on the heat isn't a big deal because these seeds will germinate without the heat. The heat just makes it go faster. So I'm just gonna go ahead and water these guys so we can get them back under the lights. This is another flat of cauliflower. And it looks like 
More than 50% of them have germinated too, so I'm gonna go ahead and water these and then just put them under lights, not on a heat mat. I'm actually gonna switch which waterer I'm using. Kevin made these um, waterers out of like juice bottles or like, you know, Gatorade, Powerade. I put a hole through the top there and then put a tube down in there. It works really well for watering. Once the seeds are germinated, I generally switch to this kind of waterer. Uh, I just think it does kind of a better job. Kevin just recently added more lights up here at the top because we were running out of room. So I'm just gonna put this cauliflower up there underneath these lights. Well, the trays on the heat mats are all taken care of. Everything that needs to be watered has been. It's opened up a couple openings here. That means that later on or tomorrow or something, Kevin and I can fill those back up with more seed trays. Now we're gonna move on to these guys, make sure they're all watered. And we'll turn on the lights and we'll be done with this for the day. Okay, everything is watered. We're just gonna turn the lights and the fans back on. And we'll meet you guys at the greenhouse at the farm. Well, it is absolutely gorgeous in the greenhouse. It's actually pretty warm. We have opened the doors, but we've turned off the fan and the exhaust system because it's so loud, you guys wouldn't be able to hear us at all. So we've got a couple things to do in here today. Uh, we're gonna uncover all of the plants, but we've got some planting to do in here and a little bit of kind of transplanting, I guess you would call it. Uh, so first we're going to go ahead and uncover these plants before we move on. So let's get started with that. buckets here that need to be replanted. We are going to plant turnips in here. But because we had kind of some trouble with the soil here, we're going to amend this soil with some of the really great compost that we've used in our other buckets. We're going to bring a couple of those buckets over here, take out some of the old, put in some of the new, mix it all up, and then it'll be great. So we're gonna go grab a couple of the buckets from inside the chicken moat area that we grew some plants in, in the you know garden part of the chicken moat, bring it over and mix this stuff up. Well, we didn't take one thing into consideration and that is that these buckets are for the most part completely frozen. We thought we'd be able to come over and just carry some of these buckets to the greenhouse and then use the soil out of them. But there's only about a couple inches of soil thawed at the top of each bucket. So what we're doing is we're scraping out what we can. We got about eight of these buckets that we can get some soil out of. We're taking as much as we can. We're gonna to try to fill up this bucket as far as we can. And then we'll use that to amend the stuff in the greenhouse. It'll work for today. Luckily we have some warm weather coming up and hopefully these will thaw the rest of the way and we can come get them another day.
Okay, so now it's a matter of adding some of this good compost to the four buckets, working it in, and then planting what we're going to plant here, which is turnips. I didn't know if I said that already, but we are going to be replanting turnips in here because we love them and they grow so well here. So we've told you guys about some of the issues that we've had with this soil that we used this winter in the buckets, the stuff that came in these bags over here. But we're still not giving up on it. We're hoping that over time it will become good soil. This stuff here is on its third year in these buckets, second or third year. And when we originally got this stuff, it wasn't the greatest either. The first year that we tried to grow in it, our plants didn't do very well at all. But by the second year, it had broken down more and it really became great stuff. We're hoping by amending this stuff that came in the bags, that kind of the same thing will happen over time. So we're going to take out just the first few inches of this stuff. And then we're going to mix in this compost in the top few inches in hopes that that will kind of give this a good extra boost for the plants that we're going to be starting. I think that's enough out of there. Now we'll mix in some of the compost. I think two buckets. Yeah. Okay, it's time to get planting. Again, we're gonna be planting turnips. These are purple top white globe turnips. Uh, they are uh, gonna be planted about six inches apart and a quarter inch or so deep in the soil. And so I'm just gonna make a hole every six inches or so with my finger. And then I'll be putting probably two seeds in each hole just to ensure germination. And just like a small circle of them here in the middle. Just cover those up. That's really all there is to that. Now I've got three more buckets to go. All done with that. Just one more project to go in the greenhouse for the day. Well, the last thing that we are gonna to do today is take some cuttings from my rosemary plant so that I can grow more rosemary and maybe sell some at the farmer's market. 
Now every year I actually start rosemary seed to sell little rosemary plants at the farmer's market, but you guys, they grow so slow that I thought maybe this year it would be better if I start some from cuttings, they'll be bigger by the time people wanna buy them at the uh, farmer's market. So it is actually pretty easy and hopefully they'll all take, or at least a few of them will take. So I'm just gonna cut about I don't know, four or six inches of a cutting off of this rosemary plant. It's about that big. And I'm gonna tear off the little leaves for about, you know, two inches or so. And then I have some rooting hormone. It's in this little jar here. I just picked that up from Walmart. And I'm gonna stick the bottom of that stem down in there and just twirl it around a little bit. Tap it off. And then we're just gonna plant these in some uh, seed starting mix. And then we'll water that, keep it moistened. And hopefully those will take root and they'll grow faster, be bigger for the farmer's market and people will be all happy. So I'm just gonna keep doing that several times so I can get lots of these cuttings started because the more I start, the more possibility that more of them will root. And uh, that'll be a good thing. Well, I ended up taking 16 cuttings from the rosemary. So hopefully those will all do well. I'm just gonna give them a quick water and water in all the seeds that I planted for the turnips. Well, hopefully before you know it, we have more turnips growing in the greenhouse. I'm so thankful that you guys came along today just to do a few chores here on the homestead. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys, if you're enjoying videos like this, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. And remember that the best way that you can help us here on the homestead is just to share our videos on your social media. Until next time, thank you so much for stopping by our homestead. Take care and God bless.